Bitcoin, the start of the cryptocurrency craze, but there's actually a lot of other cryptocurrencies out there as well. So there's Bitcoin and then there's a bunch of other ones often known as altcoins. This video is going to be teaching you how to buy Bitcoin and how to buy those other ones as well. I find that there's a lot of videos about this stuff, but not very many actually showing you the step by step how to actually do it. So that's what this video is for. So it should be pretty fun. I'm pretty excited. Now, if you're a complete beginner and you have absolutely no idea what Bitcoin is, you might not be ready to start buying it. And if that's the case, I have an intro video where you can get all of that fundamental knowledge on how it works and everything like that. Now, when you want to buy Bitcoin, you have to use something known as an exchange. And this is where you give your fiat currency, such as, uh, I forgot what my currency was called, USD, United States dollars. That's known as a fiat currency. It's the official currency of the United States. If you're gonna live in a different country, you might be using a different currency. But basically you pay with that currency to get Bitcoin in exchange. Now there are a lot of different types of exchanges out there. We're not gonna get into all those details in this video, we might save that for another one. So just follow along, we're going to be using an exchange known as Coinbase. And this is a fiat to crypto exchange, meaning fiat being like the United States dollar, cryptocurrency being Bitcoin. There are also exchanges out there that are just crypto to crypto. So in that situation, you might take Bitcoin and exchange it for Ether or some other cryptocurrency. Starting off though, the easiest way to get started is to obviously use fiat currency because you don't have any cryptocurrencies. So it wouldn't make sense to trade your cryptocurrencies for cryptocurrencies. So we'll start with fiat currencies and we're gonna be using Coinbase. Now, when you sign up for an exchange like this, it's going to ask you for some information about you. You probably need to do something like scan your driver's license or whatever it might be. And that's because these exchanges have to comply with what are known as know your customer laws, KYC. So this is basically going to allow them to know who is buying this cryptocurrency. Now for crypto to crypto exchanges, this might not be the case. You might not have to give as much information, but again, you don't have any cryptocurrency to start with. So this is the easiest route. Now, don't worry, it's not a huge process to verify who you are. I just signed up, I took a photo of my driver's license and I was verified in minutes and was able to start using the full capabilities of the exchange. There may be some things you can do without completely verifying your identity by taking a photo of your driver's license, but if you want the full capabilities of the exchange, then you're going to have to take that step. Now, when you buy cryptocurrency from an exchange such as Coinbase, it's going to sit in your account on that exchange. And this might be fine if you're planning on selling or just doing a lot of trading with this cryptocurrency, but if you plan on holding this cryptocurrency, then you might want to take it and move it to what's known as a wallet, which is off of the exchange. It's your own thing and it's much more secure because you are the only one who has access to that. There's also some downsides to that though because there's no one to call for support or anyone to help you with your account. It's all on you and it's your responsibility. So I think I'm getting a little bit into the details here. The main thing is you start with an exchange, you can leave your coins there or you can take them off the exchange and take care of them yourself using a wallet. Now, if you're working with a reputable exchange, they'll probably have some level of security or insurance to basically let you have a layer of trust with them to leave your funds on their exchange. Now this ultimately comes down to how much trust you have for an exchange because there have been exchange hacks. In fact, there has been a lot of exchange hacks where people have lost all of their cryptocurrency and things just didn't turn out too well for anybody. Now, a lot of people are giving cryptocurrency a try because they like the idea of not having to rely on a central bank or some centralized entity for transfers. So with cryptocurrency, you can take those coins and you can have complete ownership of them. You don't have to leave them in your bank account. But if you leave them on an exchange, this is similar in nature to leaving them in a bank. You're basically entrusting this exchange to watch over your coins, which may or may not be something you want to do depending on your level of comfort and what you're trying to do. But if you're getting into cryptocurrency to kind of get away from the whole centralization of everything, and then you leave your coins in an exchange, it pretty much defeats the whole purpose because now you're just transferring the responsibility from a bank to an exchange, which is probably factors at times more insecure because there's been tons of exchange hacks. So if you're working with any serious amount of coins and you're not planning to actively trade those, then I would recommend putting them into your wallet and there's all kinds of different wallets and I'll probably do a dedicated video on wallets talking about the different types, how to use them and so forth. 
So if that's something you're interested in, please hit that subscribe button. Also, don't forget to hit that bell button so you get notified of new content. Now, because I don't wanna overwhelm you with millions of options in this video, we're just going to be working with one type of wallet, which is going to be an app on our cell phone. And that should be pretty easy to set up, so I'll show you guys that as well. The way that's going to work is that your wallet is going to have a public address, and from the exchange, you can send money to that public address and it'll show up in your wallet application. Now the wallet we're actually using is also created by Coinbase, the exchange we're going to be using. So it's really easy to give access from the wallet to your Coinbase exchange account and you can easily transfer funds that way as well. So that is your overview, your introduction, what we're going to be doing in this video. But I've been talking way too much and you probably just, okay, shut up, Caleb. Let's start doing it. So let's go buy some crypto. So I decided I'm gonna do this with the app. You could also do it on the computer if you would prefer, just go into coinbase.com. Uh, but I'm gonna be setting up an account for my lovely wife, who is right here. Hello. <laughs> uh, because I already have an account and you have to do the identity stuff. So I just figured I'd do one for her. So the first thing you're going to wanna to do is download Coinbase. And while we're here, we're also going to download a wallet app. So we're going to use the Coinbase wallet as well. It's this one right here. So this is the wallet and this is the exchange. Give those a moment to download. So we'll start with Coinbase and you're just going to get started. Fill in your information. It'll ask for a little bit more information. Apparently I don't know anything about myself. <laughs> <laughs> so we're having some issues with the, the questions and answers. I'm not sure what the deal is with that, but we'll switch over to my Coinbase account and I'll show you from there. So hopefully you guys don't have similar issues, but I had no issues creating my account, so I'm not sure what the issue with that is. So on my account, you can see I have a balance of $5.80. Yeah, I know, I got a lot of crypto. So down here in the corner, there's the settings. That's where you can get a little bit of extra information about your account. Specifically in here, you can see your account level, which you can select and see the different things you can do based on what level your account is. So to get level one, you have to verify your phone number. To get level two, you have to verify your personal information. And level three, you have to verify your photo ID. Now let's say you wanna buy one of these cryptocurrencies, you can just scroll through, find the one you want, Bitcoin. And, oh, it looks like the price is tanking there, so that's good. We can buy. We're gonna buy Bitcoin. And then you just put a dollar amount and you can see one-time purchase. And it will tell you how many Bitcoins you can get for the amount of USD you used. Then you select buy now. It gives you the options to set up weekly or monthly investments. I'm gonna select not now. <laughs> and now you can see my balance for Bitcoin. I have $52.35. So we got the Bitcoin, but it's still in the exchange. So this is the point where you can transfer it to a wallet. So inside of a wallet app, you have to probably create a wallet. So create a new wallet. Make sure you read those things and you can choose a username. Now in your wallet, you'll have the option to set up a recovery phrase this is a very important step if you want to secure your funds, but we'll do that later because you know. <laughs> you want to do that though if you ever wanna gain access to this wallet, if you lose your phone or something happens. So if you wanna do that again after you exit out of that, just click this gear down here and you can see the recovery phrase option right here. So to receive coins in your wallet, all you gotta do is select receive, select the Bitcoin, and this is your public address. So this app over here can use the QR code or it can use your public address, which is this long string down here. So you can send your Bitcoin from the app, going into your portfolio, selecting Bitcoin, selecting Bitcoin wallet, and then this little send button. And we'll just transfer $10. Next. You're giving me $10? Yep. And here you can put this address or you can do the QR code option. And there you go. Once you finish this, just click next and confirm the send. And notice there is a network fee, so the actual total is a little bit higher than what we're actually going to get on this side. So confirm the send. And over on here, we can go back to our homepage and we'll need to wait a little bit. So can I just point out that my husband has this super crappy phone so that I can have this super nice phone? <laughs> I think he likes me a little bit. Yeah, so what should the viewers do? Send us cryptocurrency. <laughs> so you can get a new phone. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Now, if you are using the Coinbase wallet, you can easily transfer directly from your Coinbase exchange account just by going into the wallet app, going into the settings, and selecting your Coinbase account and selecting transfer. Here you can choose your cryptocurrency and make the transfer a lot easier. Now the Coinbase app is a little tricky to navigate, but if you wanna see those transactions, all you have to do is go into your portfolio, scroll down to Bitcoin, scroll down to Bitcoin wallet, and then you can see these transactions down here in the history. So you can see right here where I just sent that money and it says pending. And you can see it just popped up here. Took about maybe 10 minutes or so. So not the end of the world, but definitely not instantaneous. And if you're wondering why the values keep changing, like I transferred 10 from this one to this one, but it's 1008 right here. Well, that's because this goes off of the current value of Bitcoin, which changes all of the time. So if you go to the homepage here, you can see the portfolio balance is regularly changing. Now I wanna try it again with another cryptocurrency. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to try Bitcoin Cash. So I'll just buy a little bit of this and we're gonna get $10. Buy now. And there we go. And then what we can do is we can send it and I'm just gonna do $5. I'm gonna keep a little bit in my exchange. And then again, we'll just scan that QR code. So we'll click receive over here and we're going to receive Bitcoin Cash. So we'll just scan that. And you probably want to confirm that code right there, but you can leave a note there if you want. We'll just say next and we'll confirm the send. And now we'll go back to our balance over here and see if it will update. You can see this one is pending now because we just transferred it, but you can see that Bitcoin has now been confirmed and there's no longer a pending there. Now you can also transfer from wallet to wallet. So I can send here, I can receive here, Let's say Bitcoin, and we'll send one Bitcoin. Oh, one Bitcoin, I mean, that'd be nice. One dollar worth of Bitcoin. Click next, scan QR code. There we go, and send. So that is how you can directly transfer money from one wallet to another. So if you're trying to buy something from someone, you can do it like that. And also our Bitcoin cash just appeared. And you can see our cryptocurrency appeared on this wallet. So now the last thing I need to do is just go in here and set a recovery phrase so I don't go and lose all my money. So that's the basics of getting the cryptocurrency from the exchange and transferring it to your wallet. Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully that was everything you needed to buy Bitcoin and put it into your wallet. Once it's in your wallet, you can easily transfer it directly to people without having to go through a bank. All you gotta do is get their public address and then hit the send button in your wallet. <laughs> and it's pretty self-explanatory from there. You just put their public address there, the amount you want to transfer, and you send it. Now do be diligent because there are a lot of scams out there and there are a lot of ways for you to lose your cryptocurrency. Again, make sure you don't lose access to your wallet. Make sure you have any information you need to access that wallet backed up or memorized or something <laughs> so you don't lose access to your wallet. Now, if you want to help me out, please hit that subscribe button because we have a lot of new information coming out about Bitcoin, cryptocurrency, blockchain, and investing and all that stuff. So stay tuned and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.